Okay guys, cooking up some quail. As you can see, quail are very, very small. <laughs> I decided to stuff them. Kind of like you would do with a roast chicken or Christmas turkey. I think I made too much. Now please don't think this is uh, how to cook quail kind of video because it's not. This is how I'm doing it. See how small they are. I'm going to cook them in a slow cooker simply because it's already hot and I don't want to use the oven. This is just a just a basic stuffing, bread, onions, some seasoning, an egg, and I put the heart, liver, and gizzard. I cut it up and put in here. I've never done that before. I've seen it done somewhere. Ain't gonna hurt nothing, that's for sure. Well, here they are. They look like four little chickens. This is a seasoning salt. It looks like a lot. I've gotten a lot of insane comments about how much salt I use. This is mostly garlic powder and white pepper. But there is salt as well. This is a seasoning salt. I'm not going to add any water at all. I'm just going to let them cook slowly. Probably a couple of hours. We'll see what we got. Okay, boys and girls. Look at that. It smells just like roast turkey. <laughs> Amazing. It didn't brown up, obviously. But that's okay. Look at that. Cute little things. Okay guys, there it is. <laughs> How's that for a leg, huh? Mmm, that's nice. It's a little bit Chewy. Not bad. These greens here are mostly uh, Malabar spinach. I just uh, stir fried them. Mmm, that's really nice. It smells just like roast turkey, but I think that's from the from the stuffing. Roasted quail. That's the first for me. I cooked one quail the other day. I uh, pan fried it. Just cut it in half. And pan fried it, it's really good. Let's see what the breast looks like. A little darker than chicken. Really good. It don't taste like chicken at all. It's got its own its own taste, that's for sure. Funny huh, how everything is compared to chicken. Well, here's your Malabar spinach deal. 
did really good through the hot weather. I abused it kind of on purpose. I didn't give it any shade cloth or anything just to see what it would do. It's gone to seed already and now it's popping up in all, all over the garden. I guess the birds have been spreading it around. But I don't know what it'll do like in the cooler months. But that's not really when I need it. It did well through the hot season. And that's when it's hard to grow greens here. I don't know if you can if you can see that it's a really thick leaf and it doesn't weld when you cook it. It's nice. But this is about quail. Okay. Hot. Mm-hmm. Oh. For anyone who's never raised quail, they're uh, quite an interesting little bird. They're cool to watch. They don't take up much room. They grow really quick. Only five to six weeks from hatching to harvest. That's pretty good. Their eggs are supposed to be really good for you. I don't know about the, the meat. But for somebody just getting started and want to raise their own food or someone who don't have much space. Good bird. The downside, I guess, you have to have an incubator. They don't sit on their own eggs. But the incubation time is only about 17 days, so that's quicker than, than everything else too. This is a really good lunch. Stuffing is a nice touch. Really nice. I don't know if this would have been any different cooked in the oven or not. Slow cooker. Got it done. Ooh, this one's much tender, huh? Look at that. Out of the four birds, one was an old one. Probably that one. This one is a. Uh, my own, my own action. Yeah, that's much tender. Look at that, falling apart. Mm, mm, mm. Okay guys, well there it is. The first real quill cook up. Quite good, actually delicious. Very an interesting little bird to cook.
and a surprising fact about quail. These are all males. I uh, saved all the females this time. So these are all males. Their testicles are huge. <laughs> this guy's got balls, let me tell you. Surprising. I should have saved them. Would have been interesting. But lessons learned from quail, they got balls. Really, really big ones. Alright guys. That's it. I need to finish eating my lunch. Okay, thanks for watching.